Hey guys, Chris again, ClassicVWBugs.com, and in this tip we're going to feed a new wiring loom through a freshly painted beetle. Uh, we do not have a uh, rope that can guide us our new harness, so we bought some of the metal loom that I spoke about once before in an earlier video, about six years ago. I spoke about picking up this wire, this metal steel wire that's bendable from a hardware store, and then you can fish this through the roof of your beetle. Uh, just make sure you look at your wiring harness diagram and make sure you're feeding through the right side, either the right or left side of your car. Uh, so for a 5657 oval like this, the loom goes up into this overhead pillar, and there's our metal wire there, and that fishes down to the back engine compartment. So we fished it from the front and pushed it to the back. Now once you have your brand new wiring harness out, you want to lay this out and you want to just start taping up the wires. Here's the back end of the harness. This is uh, all in the engine compartment. This connects to the you know, oil sending switch, the coil, the starter, the regulator, uh, that sort of thing. So these you leave open, but then the other side of the harness, which goes towards the front, we're going to start wrapping up as you see here. So we have the metal wire and we're starting to wrap it around the electrical wires. And what we want to do is then just get some electrical tape and tape these up because you don't want these wires to get caught on the way through the car as you start fishing it through. So you want it to guide easily through and not get hung up on anything. So what we're doing is just some, again, standard electrical tape and just wrapping it around and just keep everything nice and tight so it glides right through the roof. Just trim that off and now you have everything taped off and you should be okay from this point. Uh, you could also, if you'd like, use some WD-40 or some silicone and you can you know, quickly mist the harness. So give it a little more lube to fish its way through the roof of your beetle. So you got one guy on one end in the front, start pulling your wire or your rope and then you have to get a guy in the back end to help fish it through because it's not going to go in as smoothly as possible sometimes. Just watch out for that, that metal wire there. You don't want it to scratch your paint or anything, so just be careful. That's why it's nice and bendable. You can grab it. And then in the back, you just start fishing it up. Back and forth, back and forth. And you'll see, sometimes it gets hung up, but uh, for the most part, if you just keep pulling and you keep wiggling and keep going back and forth, the harness eventually makes its way through. Now the Bug Me Video DVD uh, series is great. They have a whole DVD on wiring, and I'll have a link down below in the description on how to get that DVD on how, how to do a comprehensive uh, wire installation. But we're just showing you here how to fish it through the cabin. As you see, the harness is going through pretty well here. So just keep going back and forth. I know it looks kind of funny, but once you make your way through, like we have here, then you can undo your wires. But uh, your tape rather wrapped around the wires. But before you do that, you want to make sure everything's lined up. You've got to be an equal amount from front to back. So as you see here, we need enough wires to go to our taillights and enough stretch of the wires to go into this clamp here and to make its way over to your coil. So just imagine your motors in the engine compartment. You want to make your way over to your coil, make your way over to the oil sending unit, and then you're going to make sure you, it reaches your regulator and such. So uh, just make sure you have enough slack, pretty much, to, to hook things up. So if you have to pull it back, pull it back some more and give yourself a little more room. Now, I get my wiring harness uh, diagrams off of the Samba.com. I have a link in the description below, and these are colored diagrams that you can print out. Uh, these are excellent. I always turn them upside down because you want the headlights, you know, when I'm working in the front, you want the headlights towards the front. And I, I, guide, I follow that way through there. And I buy my harnesses from CIP1.com, and they give you the wire works, the wiring works uh, diagram. But everything is in black and white. I still don't know why they don't have these things in color. Uh, when I have bought them before from uh, Wolfsburg West, they do come in color. But um, I get my stuff from uh, CIP1 in a bulk order many times, so I throw the harness in. And uh, this is a 56 oval, so a lot of ovals. When the harness comes in, there's a clamp up above. If you see, if you look here. That's where the wiring harness has to fish through because it holds it there that I'm poking to. And then there's another clamp right here, right next to the ashtray. And uh, the harness has to fish its way down that way. And then you feed it all across the dash. So follow that wiring diagram and uh, let me know how you guys make out. Take care. Uh -huh.